Animal Kingdom is expecting it. I know. I'll make the Art Attack crown. Aye, aye, Captain. First, measure your head with some thick paper like this. Got to put it to the side. Careful not to touch your eyes. Remember where your finger is. So it's right there. Grab a pencil. Remember where you marked it. Draw a line so that you can cut it. Now, grab a pair of scissors. Ask an adult to help with this one, of course. Cut along the lines right there. OK? Also, we'll use a piece of thick cardboard that's longer and wider than the strip you've just measured on which to draw the crown. Now fill half a cup with glue and add the color you want to use. I'll use orange, yellow, and turquoise. Of course, you can always pick your own color. First, place the paper strip on the cardboard. Grab a pencil and draw a line at each end. This is the width of our crown. Then, fold your paper in half and mark the middle as well. With a ruler, draw another line above your center line and connect up the two sides with a long line at the bottom. Now connect the sides to the line in the middle with lots of curvy lines. It almost looks like a circus tent. Draw another curvy line exactly like the first one underneath to form a border. Add some zigzags on top. This will be the shiny jewels and gems on top of the tiara. And why not add a big jewel on top as well? When you've finished your drawing, wrap the cardboard in a plastic sheet and secure it at the back, like this. Now we're ready to start adding color. Start with a gold color mix and pour it straight from the cup onto the main body of the tiara. Use a brush to shape the edges. Now it's time for the pale yellow. This time, apply it with a brush to fill in the border. And lastly, paint the gems with this lovely turquoise color. Very majestic! It already looks pretty amazing. But don't even think about wearing it just yet. Now, you just have to let it dry. We're gonna make it look even more fabulous by adding some precious stones that we'll make with shiny paper like this. First, let's draw the precious jewels on the back of the paper squares. Draw them in any shapes you like. Once you've cut them out and get adult help when you do, stick them on wherever you like. This big one will look incredible here in the middle. Decide on a pattern then just stick on your jewels. And as a final touch, add some transparent glitter glue onto your gems and you'll see the incredible effect. Jewel-tastic! When it's completely dry, cut it out and make holes on either end and slide the laces through. Do you like it? Here's another idea, a pirate bracelet. We'll use another piece of cardboard. All you need to do is cut it to the size of your wrist and ask an adult to help with that one. Lastly, Add a cup of brown mix. Check it out. Outline the paper strip on the cardboard. Then, cover it with plastic like we did with a crown. Fill the rectangle with a brown mix. If you go over the line, don't worry. We can trim it later. While it is drying, take a pencil to draw the details. First, draw a skull that fits in the bracelet. Then we'll make the crossed skull bones that you already know. Cut along the lines to create the pirate insignia so everybody knows who you are. Glue the two pieces on the bracelet, but before hopping onto the ship, add some metallic gems where you like. A pirate has to look neat too. Lastly, retrace all the lines. You're about to become the most frightening pirate. Ready to ray anchor. It looks really good, but our pirate combo is not yet complete without this medallion for brave ocean adventurers. And if you're a princess, check out this diamond ring and this beautiful golden bracelet. Whether you are a princess or a pirate, you can always learn more by visiting DisneyChannel-Asia.com forward slash Art Attack. Thanks for watching. Now click the video on the right for more great shows or subscribe to keep up to date with the latest Disney Channel YouTube clips.